This video is going to focus on the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle begins where glycolysis left off, and that's with one molecule of pyruvate. So to visualize everything, you need to multiply the Krebs cycle by 2. We're going to do some carbon counting. Pyruvate is a molecule that has three carbon atoms in its backbone because it's half of a glucose. Okay, the first thing we're going to show is pyruvate splitting into a molecule of acetate. And in the process, it releases one molecule of carbon dioxide gas, which goes up into the atmosphere. And that is why acetate is a molecule with two carbons in its backbone. This process also produces one molecule of NADH. Remember, that's an energy carrier, so let's put a dollar sign by that. This next step shows the cycle part of the Krebs cycle, beginning with a molecule called oaxaloacetate that has four carbons. An enzyme called coenzyme A comes into play here. This enzyme picks up the acetate and delivers it to the Krebs cycle, combining it with oaxaloacetate. After it's done its job, the coenzyme A goes back up to get the next acetate that's coming down. The acetate combines with the oaxaloacetate to make another molecule called citrate. Here I show the acetate joining with the oxaloacetate and forming citrate. The Krebs cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle, the name coming from this particular molecule. You might be asking, where's the cycle in the Krebs cycle? Well, the citrate is going to undergo some more biochemical reactions, and eventually we're going to end up back where we started with oaxaloacetate. First thing we're going to do is lose a couple of CO2 molecules to the atmosphere. This is why you must exhale. Carbon dioxide gas is a toxic waste product. A molecule of ATP is also generated in the Krebs cycle, as well as not one, not two, not three, yes, three molecules of NADH are created. Let's put a dollar sign besides this one and a dollar sign beside our good old friend ATP. Somewhere in the Krebs cycle, there's yet another energy carrying molecule produced called FADH. Two, but we're not going to worry too much about that. We will put a money sign beside it just to remind ourselves that it's important. A couple quick things. Notice that the three carbons that are in pyruvate each were released to the atmosphere as molecules of CO2. Also notice that for two Krebs cycles, we would make two molecules of ATP from each molecule of glucose. And likewise, from two Krebs cycles, we'd make eight molecules of NADH and two molecules of FADH2. In the next video, we're going to follow the NADH and find out how we can use that to make more ATP.